Uh, hi everyone, and uh, welcome back to this uh, series of uh, questions uh, from electrical A6 power systems and machine BO exam. And this question is about DC uh, DC motors. I did one DC motors before, and this question is a little bit different than the previous question, as we will uh, as we'll see. Okay, so in that question, it's a shunt motor. So the previous question was shunt, and this is also a shunt motor. Has an armature resistance, your RA is equal to 0.1 ohm, and the field is 100 ohms, and it has negligible rotational losses. It's also 220, so this is your terminal, your terminal voltage. Under certain load conditions, when you connect your load to the shaft to the rotor of the motor at that conditions your speed was 1600 rpm so i will call this is n1 so at that condition this is equal to 1600 rpm while the motor is basically total current drawing is it which is here called il it is the same thing this is with 100 amp okay so your total current is 100 amps Okay, determine the output power of the of your motor. What is basically your output uh, power? Okay, so this is part A. Now, first we need to find Pn. So your Pn is basically equal to the current, the input current, the 100, times the input voltage, which is the 220, and this will give me 22 kilowatt. That is your Pn. Then we need to subtract from Pn the losses to find your, uh, basically, your P, P out. So we need to, to find those losses. We have here two losses. So the, uh, the losses P loss is equal to IF squared times RF plus IA squared times RA. This is to find your output power. But we don't know I if, we don't know I if. We only know I, I total or I line. So we need to find I if. Your I if is the voltage divided by the resistance, which is the 220 volt divided by the 100 ohm. And this will give me 2.2 amps. And from this, I can find my I A, which is basically the 100 amp, the main current minus 2.2, just simple KCL. And uh, this will give me a current equal to 97.8 amps. Now, once I know IF and I know IA, then now I can find the losses, the total losses. So the P losses that you will have is basically equal uh, to I square F, which is 2.2 square times rf which is 100 and plus the ia is 97.8 square times the point one this will give me 4.484 kilowatt plus 0.956 so this is my total losses now there is another type of losses which is basically the rotational losses the rotational, but here it says that ignore negligible rotational losses. The rotational losses are basically the mechanical losses and the core losses. These are completely ignored. So from this, you can say that your P amp is equal to your Pn minus the P losses. Now we have everything, and this will give me a P out equal to 20.56 kilo kilowatt that is your p out what is the output torque now the torque this is part p the uh, p out is equal to the torque output times omega omega is the speed which we know it i know p out so from this we can find the output torque is equal to p out which is 20.56 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 2 pi over 60 to convert the 1600 into radian per second. Okay, so if you do that, you will find this is equal to 122.7 Newton meter. Finally, 
we want to find C, the efficiency. It is basically P out over Pn. We have both, this is 20.56 divided uh, by the P input, which is uh, 22 kilowatt, and this will give me 93.45%. So that is your, your efficiency. Now, let's go to the second part. Now, the first part is a typical. At certain conditions, what are these values? You can ask for different things, but now in the second part, we are making a change now from the previous case. Now, here it says the change without making any change to the applied voltage or the field. So I'm not changing VT or I'm not changing RF. They are constant. So basically, my IF is constant, doesn't change. The motor operates with a new mechanical load that requires a mechanical developed torque of 100 nanometer, a newton meter. So basically here now, I changed the needed torque. The previous torque, torque one, is equal to 122.7. This is the output torque, okay? Now, this is called the developed torque. What's the difference between the developed torque and the output torque? The developed torque is coming from the developed power. Okay, let me draw here the power diagram so that you understand it better. So you have Pn. If I subtract from Pn the I square R losses, which is the two losses, I F square R F, and I A square R A, you get P developed, which is also equal to the E C or the E A times the I A. So it's the same thing. It's equal to this or equal to Pn minus summation of the I square R. Now, then we have P rotational, and you get your P out, which is equal to the B developed minus P rotational. But because in this question we have negligible rotational loss, so then your B out is equal to the B developed. So if in the question I ask you about developed torque or output torque, they exactly mean the same thing because in that specific question, we are ignoring the rotational losses. So here it means that your T to torque number two is equal to 100 Newton meter. So at that condition, we want to find what is the total current, what will happen to this IL, okay? Now, one important relationship that the torque is equal to a constant times IF times IA. Okay, so the torque in the DC machine, it depends on the flux or IF and the armature current, okay? Now, we have two conditions. Torque one is equal to constant is basically a property of the machine, doesn't change. IF there will be no IF1 and IF2 because here we mentioned that the applied voltage and the field, there is no change in the field. So there is no changing in IF. So IF in the two scenarios stays the same, but IA1 is di different. The torque 2 is equal to K IF and there will be here a different IA2. So in this question, we fixed the field and we changed the torque. In the previous question, we did the opposite. We fixed the torque and we changed the field. So divide these two equations together. So these will cancel. Now, torque one is 122.7 divided by the torque two, which is the one that we want to reach, which is 100, equal to your IA1, which is, we know it, 97.8 from the previous step, divided by IA2, my unknown. So here my IA2 is equal to 79.7 amp. But I want to find the total current, your IL, which is your IA2 plus IF, and IF doesn't change, it's 2.2 in both cases. So this will give me 81.9 amps. That is your IL.
Then it says here, find the operating speed. Now to find the speed at a different condition, you have to use the EC here or the EA. It doesn't really, it's the counter AMF. Uh, it is the same as EA, so or sometimes called EB, the, uh, the back EMF. So all of them means exactly the same thing. So in this part here, we want to find the operating speed at that condition. So we have certain torque. Now we are reducing the, the torque. So let's see how we can do that. Now this is the another addition. This is EC is equal to another constant. or could be the same constant times uh, basically your IF, the flux times the speed. So this is the relationship. So first we need to find EC at these two different conditions. So we need to find EC1, now we apply KVL. So EC is equal to, here the general EC equal to VT minus IARA. So here equal to VT doesn't change, it's a constant, minus IA1 times RA. RA is a constant. So this is equal to 220 minus IA197.8 times RA, which is the point 0.1. And this will give me 210.22 volt. EC2 is equal to VT minus IA2 RA. 2 to 0 times your IA2, which is I just calculated in the previous step, which is 79.7 times 0 0.1, and this will give me 212 volt. Okay, perfect. Now, EC1, which is equal to 210.22, is equal to K IF times N1. And EC2 equal to 212 K IF, IF doesn't change into, divide these two together, this will cancel. N1, we know it is equal to 1600. So from this, you can find your N2 is uh, basically equal to 1613.5 RBM. And this tends to make sense because now I'm reducing the torque. When I reduce the torque, expect the speed to, to increase. That is normal uh, reaction, and your result is really matching the common, the common sense. Finally, we want to find the efficiency of your motor. So we need to find P out and Pn. Now, Pn has it changed because now I changed the input current, total current, so it is 220 times the total input current, which is 81.9, and this will give me 18.018 kilowatt. And then we need to find the losses. So your P out equal to Pn minus IF square RF, and this doesn't change. It's the same thing because not, nothing happened in the field, minus IA. 2 squared times Ra. This is equal to 18.018 minus the 2.2 square times your Rf, which is 100, minus the Ia2 uh, square, which is the 79.7 square times Ra, which is the 0.1. And this will give me a total power equal to 16.89 kilowatt. So your efficiency is equal to P out over Pn, which is equal to 93.8%. So these are the two main scenarios of the DC machine. You are given certain conditions, you want to find certain parameters, and then you are changing the conditions. Either we change the torque by itself or we change the, the field.